Hello, this is Craig, and I've been working in Unity trying to figure out Unity best practices. So I've created a little castle demo. Uh, the idea behind this game is that the enemies, the heroes, enter here and they climb the castle and then they get to the top and they kill you. Um, but as you can see, I haven't actually defined the floors as game objects. Uh, instead, what I've done is I've just specified them as script objects with a pin. So I can actually edit these on the fly, and you can see that the gizmos change. And you can also drag them around. Uh, so, for example, I can change this and move it right a little bit. Uh, so this translates, when you start up the level, into a castle of that shape. And, of course, the heroes enter here, and they move over here, and they go up the stairs, and, uh, and then they go the other direction, and then they climb those stairs, and they get you. Um, I haven't built that part yet. The core idea of this game is that these are resource blocks, and you can actually... It doesn't make any difference, because right now they're all pennies, but uh, the secret to this game is that you're not actually trying to kill the heroes, you're just trying to train them up. You've been hired because of your evil wizard expertise to train up heroes, but they don't know that. So you put down challenges, and in this case, this would be windfall challenges. Uh, so you'd just be dropping coins on the ground, and that would slow the heroes down, especially if they were thieves um, or some other gold-hungry uh, class. So um, this would be a good way to split the party up, because the thief would stay behind to, to pick it up, and the rest of the party would continue to march on. Um, and, of course, eventually you'd want to actually let them reach you and defeat you, but you might want to drive away several parties first. But you can see that the basics are all here. It understands uh, which blocks go where, um, depending on which hallway I click at. And I did that without any kind of uh, uh, dragging stuff on. It's just all script-based, and I use the uh, gizmos to see what is happening. And that's it.